Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumsandword.com bringing you another full song lesson for my online subscribers. If you want to watch this full song lesson plus over 200 other famous song lessons where I teach you a song from start to finish, give you the full PDF drum chart as a download, then please check out my website drumsandword.com for further details. Today though, I want to show you how to play the song Self Esteem by The Offspring, drums by Ron Welty. The tempo is 104 BPM, so nothing too fast, a medium tempo song. Um, but let's just say that from the start, Ron Welty, not the greatest drummer in the world. Well, he certainly was, wasn't back then. He was still quite a young lad. I think he was 17 when he first joined The Offspring. Um, and he wasn't the greatest drummer in the world. So hearing his recording, um, just the drums on their own, you hear lots and lots of mistakes. But with the rest of the band, the, the, the loudness of the guitars and stuff sort of cover up a lot of those mistakes. You don't really hear it. When I say mistakes, I just mean missed timings. Perhaps the bass drum is a little bit late or a little bit early. And to sort of my ears, it, sort of, it stands out really obviously. To a more beginner drummer, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, as in you, you wouldn't notice whether it was played sloppily or not. You just hear it and go, well, what, what's the problem? It sounds like the drum beat. So I'm just being a little bit fussy, a little bit picky here, a little bit um, mean probably by saying that Ron wasn't the greatest drummer in the world, but um, uh, the groove he came up with for this song is really cool. It reminds me um, of the song uh, uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, drummed by Dave Grohl. Um, this drum beat, which features in uh, Smells Like, Ron sort of took that drum beat and created his own version for this song. I'm not sure which one came first, but I can presume that Ron sort of was influenced by Dave Grohl rather than the other way around. So we got the intro and the written in brackets, loose hi-hat. So that for most of the song, whenever Ron's playing on the hi-hat, it's sort of half open, half loose. And we're playing eighth notes, one and two and three and four, and pretty much all the way through the song. Um, the snare drum's going to, the snare drum back beats falling on beats two and four with the hi hat, and then we've got these extra snare drum notes falling on the uh of two and the e of three. One and two and a uh, big e and four and one and two and a uh, big e and four. That kind of drum beat for the chorus. Let's take a look at what the bass drum's doing, and I'll keep the hi hat close for now. The first half of the bar we've got this one and a uh, two and a. Uh, one and a two and a. So you can see we've got a bass drum falling on the uh in between the hi-hats and the snare drum falling on the uh of two in between the hi-hats. The second half of the bar, three E and a. Uh. We've got two bass drums there. Three E, boom, boom. Three E and a, uh, four and. And notice over the top, the right hand is staying steady. So if we put the whole bar to get, together, one 